it's been crucial, the whole cold meat experience. Uh, I've never experienced anything like it and probably never will. Uh, but uh, it was, I mean, it's a cliche when we say it was like a family thing, but it actually was. When, when all these artists come together at these festivals, at the concerts, we start talking. And, and all of a sudden, certain truth evolves. I moved to Sweden in um, shit, um, January of 94. So that was, it was kind of like a cool coincidence, you know, because Cool Meat is, is a Swedish label, you know, and, uh, and and all of a sudden, you know, I was doing shows with Audio Equilibrio, uh, you know, Race on Death, Mental Destruction, uh, Sanctum. And it's like, what do you get paid for per soul CD? What, what? You get paid for your CDs? I only get CDs in return. So we started understanding that all of us had various, very different deals. Of course, so, some people are, are bitter and, and distanced themselves because they were really, they were more of uh, professional musicians, maybe, or uh, aiming for some kind of commercial success or monetary wealth. Some artists are really uh, interested and, and uh, proactive in getting this information. They want to know how much did it sell, uh, when, uh, when are the royalties uh, appearing. Uh, Roger had some personal problems. Things went a bit south um, and um, he wasn't perfect in reporting what uh, was being sold and, and uh, payments were not really <clears throat> Uh, punctual or anything. People like uh, Lina and Roger, Peter, Andersson, they are motivated by completely different factors than commercial success. Suddenly things just, he didn't respond to emails as quickly or at all. Yeah, it was a bit like, what the fuck's going on, man? His conditions suggesting why? No, I, I didn't really know about his depression. I, I didn't. Uh, so when I heard that he had started drinking a lot more, I was not very surprised. There were many bands on the label that had pretty brutal drinking issues. I heard it through friends that uh, he had uh, all kinds of personal problems and uh, I could <clears throat> at the time very well relate to it. Uh... I don't know, it depends on, I mean, I think we're talking about cold meat industry. I think there are quite a lot of people having personal problems, even including myself. But One man and his uh, taste in aesthetics and music. It's a heavy burden to carry at times, I think. It must have been overwhelming, so, but st still I think it's... Uh, he did the right thing to shut down the operations instead of doing half-measured shit. Feed the fire. Fund the film at soulinflames.com.